Hello everybody, Cyan Link here and as the title suggests I'm going to be doing my first impressions on the extra large cold steel Espada. Now uh, you're not going to see a review on this knife. Every once in a while being a knife collector I order a knife that is a lot bigger than I really expected it to be and uh, since I live in the barracks I can't really have stuff like that so I'm going to be sending this home today. Um, and that'll be the end of it. I'll do this video and we go down to the to um, the UPS store and this is going to be going back home where I know it'll be looked after and it's not going to get confiscated or anything like that but um, here we go. So what do you say about this knife? Um, holy fucking shit comes to mind obviously. Let's, let's get specs out the way. We have a seven and a half inch blade made out of Alls 8A steel. The uh, handle is nine and a quarter inches long, bringing the total length up to sixteen and three quarter inches when opened. That's retarded. Uh, on the handles, we have polished G10, and no, I'm sorry, you just yeah, long polished G10 and polished seventy seventy five aluminum. In this and this. Uh, so let's open this. Okay, first thing you're going to notice is this knife is heavy, 15 ounces. Very, very heavy. And it's also pretty difficult to open it. I gotta do that, then scoop my hand up and finish it off. And. Are you fucking serious? What the hell? Look at this. <laughs> That's too much. Um. This is very impressive. I mean, what would you use this knife for? I mean, me personally. I got the super expensive big one because it's going to be a display knife and it is so impressive to look at. It, it, is, it is something else. I mean, as you clear, I mean, I really can't help but giggle when I see it because it's, it's just something out of this world pretty much. Um, but I mean, I guess if someone breaks in your house and you, abs and you don't have a firearm and you absolutely positively have to scare the shit out of him, yeah, I go with this. Uh, Aside from that, I don't, I don't know, you know, unless you want to do something illegal, which I don't, I don't, you yeah, know, don't do that. Um, like you're going to listen to me anyway, yeah. Anywho, uh, let's go over, I, this thing is big enough, you don't really need jimping. You have these, these nice huge finger grooves here for the pinky and the forefinger for your normal grip. And um, with, with this big part down here, the balance point is actually right on this uh, front finger groove. That's actually excellent balancing for, for something this large. And then if you want to get some more reach, you can grip the knife down here. Now I can feel that I have, you know, my grip is not as sturdy down here, obviously, because you don't have you know this keeping you in place or anything. But you, you feel that weight and that chopping power, that momentum you're going to get and that extra reach, there really is something to that as well. I mean, and the whole thing, 16 and, a hand, 16 and 3 quarters inches, I probably got, including the handle, um, I would say probably a foot. Uh, probably a foot of reach with this knife if I wanted to do anything with it, which I'm not going to. Um, it is, just as it's difficult to open, it's difficult to close. This is a lockback. I'm not a huge fan of lockback because, uh, you know, I have to have my fingers in the path of the blade as I close it. And this makes me even more nervous because I really got pushed down to get this thing closed. And that, that kind of makes me a little nervous. But what makes me even more nervous is this will actually fit in my pocket. Throw a long shirt over it, no one will see it. I mean, granted, I can't put anything else in the pocket. Uh, but I mean, that, that is kind of scary, i got to be honest. Um, let's go over what we have here, which is like the big thing with this, is this little pin. And what this does is, alright, opening this back up. Uh, of course, uh, a knife is designed to take force on the edge, but with this one, if it takes force on the spine, what that pin is supposedly does, what they claim it does, is um, that force will kind of like swing around the, uh, not tang, what word am I looking for? I guess it is tang. Swing around the tang and wind up back at that pin, so that pin kind of absorbs all the force that goes into the knife regardless of what direction you hit it from. Um, and, and they show that, they have the knife open, if you go into Cold Steel, uh, the website coldsteel.com and type in Espada, 
click on the link to the extra large, you'll see them. They clamp the blade and they're hanging 600 pounds off of the handle. What the hell? Um, just, just to d display what this thing is capable of doing, and that's very impressive. So, now if you do want to get one of these to use, I don't know, maybe you're a hunter, whatever, not my business. They do have, uh, they re-released the whole series. Give me a second, I can't remember exactly what the details are. That's why I have a computer. Here we go, they released it, it's called the G10 Espada. Now this one, which I am going to use kind of as a collector display item, costs $479, or $480. Um, totally worth it because I mean, this thing is so utterly impressive, it's going to look great in that display box um, when I finally get it together. But if you want something this size, the same size, the extra large, uh, and the G10, which, uh, let me actually drag this over here. Beauty of having two screens on your computer. You can see a uh, different finish. The entire handle is G10, no aluminum, and it's the more traditional G10 with textured grip. Comes in at 270 till it's still obviously expensive, but a lot better. And uh, there's other sizes. If I go back here, we have, there's the medium, comes in at three and a half inch blade. The large, five and a half. So three and a half, pretty good. Five and a half is still reasonable for um, certain things. You definitely check your state law on that one because five and a half is still considered big. But coming down here, we have 130, pretty reasonable, versus the medium 250 for the original, uh, which is going to be this design I have right here, just smaller. But um, if you are a collector, you want to have something in there like a super large folding knife. I'm, if anyone out there knows of any folding knives that are bigger than this, let me know because I want to see them. Um, aside from that, then that's pretty much it. Once again, you're not going to see a review. This is going home. But I'm Cyan Link. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day.